object of Taxi Chronicles to sell our real riders with real stories, share their experience and enhance your life. So sit back and enjoy the journey. Morning, morning, morning. Yes, we're back with another episode, another rider. We have two lovely ladies here, one from Switzerland who has speech of American accent and the other one's, I can say, very British. And I'm being filmed as she's doing this. And she's going to tell us about her new podcast slash vlog uh, um, about finances. So nice to have you here today. Take that. Hi, thank you so much. Great to be here. So what made you want to do vlogging about finance? So I've kind of been interested in finance since since I was in high school and, and I kind of just followed that, followed my passion and kind of saw it take me and it kind of led me to study finance at uni and then I, during the pandemic, I decided to do my own personal finance blog and I've been doing that for about eight months now. It's called Need Your Dough and really enjoying it, enjoying hearing people's perspectives on it and looking forward to see where it takes me. Yeah, so it's Need Your Dough, K-N-E-A-D, Your Dough, D-O-U-G-H. Okay, thanks. So what is the aim of, of your channel? But, so it's really to educate people about investing in personal finance and to break down the barriers because I found investing to be an industry to be very opaque um, and kind of dominated by a certain demographic and I kind of wanted to open up people's eyes that, you know, investing is for everyone, uh, no matter your age, um, and kind of no matter your experience. Okay. So have you invested in your have you invested yourself? Uh yeah, yeah, definitely. I kind of started my journey uh during COVID, like many other newbie investors. Um and alongside investing in stock markets, I've also invested in a number of startups and it's unlisted companies. These carry obviously a higher higher reward but obviously higher risk and that's also kind of been an interesting uh, journey as well. So you're the real McCoy then? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. What's been the hardest thing that you've learned since you've been podcasting? Vlogging, sorry. Um, I think it's just to keep your end goal in mind and not to focus on kind of metrics and follow account. You know, it's to kind of remain consistent and keep your goal at the forefront of your mind and you know keep educating and keep inspiring and then you know, eventually good things will come. But yeah, it's definitely not to focus on the metric count and remain consistent. One of the things that people usually say when you speak to someone about investing is, oh, I haven't got the money. Yeah. What would you say is a minimum amount of money you would need to make any kind of reasonable investment? I would say you can start with as little as one pound. There are so many um, investment apps like Free Trade um, in the UK or Robinhood in the US. You can literally start with a pound or a dollar and investing is all about compounding. So you really don't need a lot of money to get started. I think it's all about your mindset. It's about adding a little bit each month and also consistency. So trying to build a plan for yourself whereby you can invest a certain amount each month and try and stick to that goal as opposed to investing a lump sum at a given point. And this also kind of makes investing a lot easier, kind of manageable and broken down into kind of bite-sized chunks. You sound like you know your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have to bring your friend in on this. I'm yeah. feeling very intimidated because I literally understood Chinese from what was okay. just being the, told. Do you, does, does the lovely lady school you on investing? I don't think I have an opinion on investing because I work. I haven't really studied or invested myself. I just follow lead of investing in property management, I guess. I guess it's always good to invest. You never lose from investing, especially when it comes to property management, because that's something that is never going to lose value. Well, it's been a great interview. Yes, We're likewise. just coming to the end. Thank just, you so much. Just remind people where they can find you. Uh, yes, yeah, so you can find me on, on LinkedIn. My name is Dina Wolf, or you can follow me on my blog, which is, again, Need Your Dough, K-N-E-A-D-Y-O-U-R-D-O-U-G-H. And, and I take it you school people personally, that they can DM you... Oh uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Through the whole process. Absolutely. Yeah, you can find me in Switzerland, you guys. Yes, come visit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot for that. We wish you well. Thank, Thank you, you so you much. Too. Take care. Great. It enhanced your life. We post an interview every day, as well as vlogging on our social media channel. Don't forget to subscribe to get our latest episode.
We hope that episode enhanced your life. We post an interview every day as well as vlogging on our social media channels. Don't forget to subscribe to get our latest episodes.